Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome to the appreciation segment before the Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke content. On our last video, The Way of the Stealthy Ninja, number 19 in the series, we got 5 likes, 34 views, and 18 comments. Coming from Arvidal, It's Legichaz, Tazimo, Scription Gaming, Landon Summers, and Paragon X9. Now, I will say that there's been a little bit of a weird thing happening on the channel lately where I, I know that some people's comments have been disappearing. I'm not quite sure how or why. Um, it's not them deleting it either because I've spoken to the people directly. Um, I'm not erasing them, and they're not erasing them, but they're just not appearing. So if there's any comments here that, that uh, you think ought to be here that aren't, I do apologize. I'm not sure what's causing it, but I, I, I promise it's, it's not me erasing them. So, um, yeah. I should mention that the channel itself is up to 165 subscribers, so thank you to all the people who who, who have uh, subscribed uh, in the last few days. You guys are all amazing, as always. Without any further ado, I'm going to let you get on to the big, big news, which is, of course, that it's finally time to train Calypso and see if we can get a Milotic on our team and get ready for the uh, sixth gym battle against Winona. So hopefully you enjoy, have a great rest of your day, whether you do or don't, because, hey, you're all great. And I'll see you after the intro. Bye-bye! Arvido here. Description here. Monster Matt here.
Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome to the 20th episode of the Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke run. If you haven't seen what's been going on lately, there's a playlist on the right-hand side of the screen, which will take you back to the play- uh, I said place already. It'll take you back to anything you need to see, and for those of you who have been following, you'll know what was going on during all that grinding, and you'll know that we have some, some exciting changes to our little team. First and foremost, the big news, Calypso. I took our Feebas all the way to Lily Cove City, I made a whole crap ton of Pokeblocks, and I shoved them down her throat with a shovel, and she has become the beautiful, the quite actually powerful, I'm surprised, as how much, Milotic. She has the Marvel Scale ability, which means that if she's suffering from a status condition, her defense increases. She has a relaxed nature, which means that she has a speed down defense up nature to start with. And her stats are actually pretty good. She's got 97 health, which is not as good as some of our team, but not bad considering she's level 29. Her defenses are really, really good. One, uh, her, her, her physical defense is 63, her special defense is 78, and her special attack is 70. Put that on a speed of 51, which, you know, for someone who has a low, a, a speed lowering nature is not too bad. Can't complain. She's been, cr you know, crushing things. I, I, I used her in almost every fight coming back this way, and she has grown pretty strong. So she's coming with us into our gym fight against Winona. Next big news, Curly has reached level 32 and has evolved into Grumpig. So we have one just like Arvidal does. He's level 32 still. He's got a good chunk of health. His special attack and, and defense are his strong points. He's actually faster than uh, Calypso is. Caldera. I just realized we have a lot of C Pokemon in our group. I didn't even realize that until just this moment. Uh, Caldera Arnumal, who's level 31. She's not going to have a whole lot of fun in this gym because it's a flying types, but she is part fire as well, and that might come in handy, so she gets to come along as well. Her special attack is her best uh, stat by far. Honestly, she's, she's kind of slow. She's, 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 she's a bit vulnerable. I'm going to be keeping her out of this as much as possible. And lastly, The Flash. Oh! Savior of our team has his vital spirit, quirky nature itself, all ready to go. He's level 31, his health is good, his, his stats, honestly, he's our most all-round powerful guy. You know, he, he his attack and defense are almost tied, his special attack and defense are tied, and he's fast. You know, he hits hard, he's learned Slash, so he's got a, a, a good uh, off move besides Strength, because it, does, it has 10 less base power than Strength, but it's got that higher crit ratio, so nice to have. So these are the four I'm taking with me in to fight Winona. I don't think... I, I mean, I, I think I, I think she has actually has five Pokemon. But considering our other two are, you know, Burly Spubs and Naveen, who are fighting in grass, I kind of didn't want them anywhere near this gym, you know what I mean? But Calypso is our power forward going into this, and the other guys are here to back her up. She's a strong, independent woman, and she don't need nobody. Oh. Technically on. <laughs> Well, that's fine, because Calypso is actually really good at uh, taking out Kecleons, because she takes advantage... Oh, oh, I just ran away. Never mind. We're good. I was going to say, she's actually really good at taking them out, because their their color change ability works to her advantage. Because, see, Kecleon has color change, obviously. Uh, hello, trainer man. Do I not need to fight you? Uh, okay, I'll just fight you anyway. Um, but yeah, the, the, uh, Kecleon's color change ability makes it become the type of whatever move you, you, you last hit it with. Um, Calypso happens to know Twister, which is a dragon move. So you hit it with a dragon move, and then you hit it with Ice Beam, which, by the way, she knows, because I went and I spent way too much money at the Moville Game Corner and got the, the TM for Ice Beam. I also used the track because, as we saw in Inscription's f last and final Emerald Nuzlocke video, it's the most powerful weapon known to man. Like, that's the second time he's been brought down by someone who uses a track as one of their main things. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Immobilized by love. But how can you not love Calypso? She is the be-all, the end-all, the police-all. Mobile love again. Oh, you poor sap. She's got you in her clutches. Look at that. I mean, it's not, like, the most powerful Surf I've ever seen, but it does have a level 30 Skarmory's health. Oh, this attract is doing work for us. He hasn't done a thing to us yet. Oh, my goodness. You have a 3,000 experience. Don't worry about it. Sorry, Humberto. Kind of skipped his dialogue there as well. I do apologize, but I was talking about Kecleon. Um... I think I can, like, fight only, like, both of you? Ah, both of you. Okay, good. Who wants to go in a tag match with Calypso? Um, 
I say Cal Caldera because she, she needs the experience. Behold the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon. Well, not a top me personally. You can't beat me easily. All kinds in the gym, man. All kinds. Bird Keeper, Jared, and Picnicker, Ashley. Ooh, six Pokemon between them. Dang! Doduo and Swablu. Swablu. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, Ice Beam. And see, um, notably, Caldera has learned Amnesia, which is actually incredible for her because her defenses, as I've mentioned, are a little on the shoddy side. So having access to a uh, two-stage special defense booster is great. Because her, 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 her biggest weakness is water. And I'm not saying I want to trot out against water types. But if, you, if, if, if I manage to get her set up with a full complement of amnesia, she might just take a water hit and not totally die. Still wouldn't try it voluntarily, though. That's a, an extreme situation kind of business. You know, I'm just going to surf you. I don't think I really actually need to use Ice Beam on you individually. I'm going to be a little bit pompous. A little bit cocky. Is anything that... Oh, that's a crit. Okay, that's fair enough. But anything that survives, Caldera can help sweep up with Ember. Tropius! Banana Chin! Not the Fury Attack! No, not the Fury Attack! Yeah, it does nothing. Like, I've actually been really impressed by, uh... By, um, Calypso so far. She has proven to be incredibly durable. Her defenses get the job done. She has taken... All kinds of hits on the way up here, and she just shrugs them off, by and large, which is very impressive. Yeah, I know, he's a grass type, but he's also grass flying, which means ice does four times damage, and there is no longer a Tropius standing before me. Calypso is the power behind the throne now. I'm not sure who was on the throne exactly, but she's the power behind it now. Skarmory! Hey, you again, hello. Safeguard. Mm -hmm, veiled. Oh, but the Ember's targeting the Steel type. Ooh. Oh, bad news for him. Surf for you, Ember for you. Goodbye. Oh, but yeah, no, see, there, um, for, for anyone who's doing a Nuzlocke of Emerald, though, seriously, get Ice Beam. It makes this gym a lot better for you, and, I'll, and, and you'll see why when we hit uh, uh, Winona. Ooh, Recover. Yes, please. I don't need Twister that badly. Attract is staying because it's silly. Twister, um, Dragon's a special type, and that's great, but Twister is pretty weak, and Ice Beam is better, for obvious reasons. So, sure, why not? Free, free health care, I guess. I wouldn't have kept Twister anyway. Um, but yeah, you'll see why Ice Beam is so instrumental against Winona, uh, as we get to her. But, uh, there's two different avenues to get Ice Beam in this game, actually. You can get it from the Moville... Um, game corner like I did, and honestly, I kind of regret that because there's a better way, well, a, ch a cheaper way anyway, which is to do what Arvidal did and go over to the abandoned ship out on the sea routes by Duford because you can find it in the boat there. It is just there to be picked up, which is pretty great. But I didn't want to take the time. I was already kind of going out of my way to get the the uh, beauty poke blocks and such, so I just grabbed the the um, TM back at the game corner when when I had the chance. All right, making way to the gym. The badoop and the badeep. And uh oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, fellas, another double battle, huh? I'm not sure what level Caldera evolves at, but we'll find out soon, I guess. Uh, there's no need for Winona, our gym leader, to deal with ye. I'm plenty good enough for ye. The lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. And as a member of the Four Tree Gym, I'm not allowed to lose. Seriously, I'll, I'll get fired. I, I got a family to feed. You mind taking a dirt nap for me, huh? Sorry, man, ain't not gonna happen. Flint and Bird Keeper Eduardo. Ooh, Camper Flint and Eduardo. Eduardo. Very nice. Swillow and Doduo. Swillow. I do wish that uh, Caldera had some kind of a rock move. We would certainly help with this, but oh well. Beggars cannot be choosers. You're both men. I could attract you. Or I could just start drowning you. Or freezing you. I choose freezing. Freezing's good. Quick attack, that's gonna hurt. Because as I mentioned, Caldera has legendarily poor defenses right now. So I want to get her evolved as soon as possible. <laughs> that ice beam making short work of the birds. 32 for Caldera, very nice. Yeah, see, she's mostly focusing on her special attack. Her speed went up though, which is kind of surprising to me because it's one of her worst stats. Zatu! Well, hello! I haven't seen you in a while. Fury attack. Um. 
Could you not, though? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, hmm. It's squeaky butt time. Uh, ice that. You get healed. Lots and lots, please. Oh, it's not even enough to, 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 fully, to fully heal you anymore. Well, thankfully, I have a couple of uh, hyper potions booting around that I found on the ground in places. Take that. Take this and don't die. Really? Peck? Peck? You're gonna peck me? Uh, that's right, because... That's right, that was, that was my, my, my uh, main cons uh, main problem with Zatu back in the Crystal version. I wanted to use one, but I didn't learn Psychic until level like 40, 50 something, which was just way too high. I'm not running away, Doduo. Don't get your fuzzy britches in a twist. He's all like, Pursuit, <laughs> I'm being clever. Yeah, well. Just because you have two heads doesn't mean you're, you know, smart. <laughs> Uh, you re you you you've misread the situation, sir, and now you shall be wet, and possibly you know cooked. But you didn't let you didn't last long enough. Your replacement gets cooked, though. Oh, never mind. No, he doesn't. Uh, abandoned ship. Caldera, abandoned ship. Uh, abandoned ship. Um, Curly, you have shockwave. Whoop. Whee. All right, the A team is together. Uh, well, for this gym anyway. The A team. No, oh, didn't, didn't even need the A team. We have the C team, the Calypso, the Queen. She's got this well in hand. Didn't even have any hands. We know that I, I lost. Oh, wait, he, 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 he was a Scottish Monday. Ah, it was too much of a load for me to bear. Yeah, sorry, fellas. All right, well that wasn't so bad. You just all by our. I'll buy your lonesomes, lonesomes over here. You'd better know that there are all sorts of flying type of Pokemon. You do know that, right? Yes, I do. But did you guys know that there's only two different, no, three, well, three technically. Three, uh, three Pokemon that actually have flying as a non-secondary type. And what I mean by that is, if you look at someone's type, it'll be like fire flying or water rock or whatever. The first one is the primary type and the second one is the secondary type. The only Pokemon to have a primary flying type is Noibat and his, and, and, and his evolution Noivern. They are fl uh, flying dragon. There's only one other Pokemon that has a pure flying type and that's I believe Tornadus. Every other Pokemon that is part flying is secondary flying. Like Charizard is fire flying. Uh, Tropius is grass flying. Everything is something else as, as a primary type and then flying. They're, 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 they're only those two uh, as far as primary flyers go. Which is really weird. Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? Whoops. Okay, this needs to be like that. Be like that. No, 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 no. Hang on. There we go. 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I get it, I got it, it's good. There we go. Is that everyone? I, I, I didn't miss anybody? I could have sworn I did. Eh. I'm, I'm gonna go heal anyway, just just, just for a second, just, just real quick, like. No, we're good, actually. Cool. But yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Say cheese, Winona! Cheese! Okay. Gonna go ahead and lead off with uh, Calypso. Well, I don't see why not. She is our... Our lord and master, the queen and mistress, I should say, I suppose. Um, yeah. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Four Tree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Ooh, very elegant. Very nice. All right, Winona. Now, I remember in past, in, in the past, I haven't played Emerald before, but I have played Ruby and Sapphire plenty, and this lady has ended me on several occasions. I've never done a Ruby and Sapphire Nuzlocke before, but just playing regularly, she would whoop me a few times if, if, if it didn't come uh, prepared enough. She is not to be taken lightly, I will tell you that. Uh, 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 and for those of you who, who are particularly shrewd, you may notice my Ice Beam has 12 uses. Because I used a uh, PP up on it. Oh, mirror move. Oh, playing dirty. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Fortunately for you, I don't care. 
Can I use Surf? Because she'll heal. That's fine. I'm gonna finish it off with two Surfs, I guess. Two Surfs or a Surf on a Nice Beam. Whatever, whatever the dealer's choice happens to be. Two Surfs will do fine. No sweat. Level 31, coming on up. Almost caught up to the rest of the team, actually. Three more HP and special defense. Two for a defense and special attack, and one in attack and speed. Pretty good. Tropius, my man, my main man. Have a chilled salad fork. I mean, it hasn't been a single one of these guys that have survived that yet, so pretty confident so far. Have a thousand free experience. Very nice. Who's next? Bellipper. Bellipper. Eh, I'll switch for you. That makes sense. Carly, this is your, your thing. Always with the supersonic. Can I not go anywhere without getting supersonic? I thought you had class, Winona. Leave me alone with the supersonics. Uh, I, I, I feel like confused around you for, 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 for petty vengeance, but Shockwave is better. Or you can do that. I see how it's going to be. You're going to confuse me and then wall me. I see. I see. I see how it is. That's fine. I have health for days. And confusion for, for weeks, apparently. Aerial Ace. Which hurts, but not that bad. Not as bad as that hurts. My pride. Oh, my pride. Really? Every single time? Well, now I have to heal. Just in case he, you know, crits me. We're not losing anyone today. I've, I've, I've managed to keep a perfect streak alive this whole time. I'm not losing it now. Oh, it failed, did it? It failed, you say? Uh, it's not that a confusion. Nope. Alright, I'm still confused. Still hitting myself. Really, Curly? Come on. It failed. Now snap out of it. Thank you. And fry the pe- the- 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 I almost said penguin. It's a pelican. This four times super effective, even with non-stab electric move like Shockwave, still do pretty solid damage. Who's next? Got one more Pokemon and then her, her ace. Ah, the Skarmory, of course. Makes sense. I have a Confuse Ray. See how you like it. <laughs> ah, I took some far, far too much pleasure from that. <laughs> ah, that's satisfying. I'm gonna shockwave it. It will not kill it in one hit. I'm very confident of that. So I'm just gonna weaken it down a little bit. Yeah, about right. Still confused. Hit yourself. No, Santa. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm switching Pokemon anyway because her ace is coming up, and I'm not letting that thing exist for more than one turn. If I can help it. Because it is terrifying. If you let her ace set up on you at all, you lose. That's just how Winona rolls. Because it knows Dragon Dance, which increases its speed and its attack stat. And it knows Earthquake. And that's not me looking up the the, 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 the fight ahead of time. That is, that is trauma from my youth. That is me remembering the horror that is her ace Pokemon, Earthquaking my team to death. Bloody Altaria. Look at this thing, look at this thing, look at this. It looks so cute, it's, it's, it's so nice, it's so cute. Die. Look, see? It's already doing it. Dragon Dance. It gets faster, it hits harder, and then it starts Earthquaking your team to death. Not happening. Ice is four times effective against you. You are a Dragon Flying type and you are going down. Or maybe you're not. Uh, or, wait, an Orin Berry? Seriously? Not Citrus? Okay, so she's still gonna heal then, right? Yeah. We're good, we're fine. I can crit and kill her, or maybe freeze her even, if I'm lucky. That's two different outcomes I would very much like. Even if even if neither of those happen, she's still very low health, and she didn't get any more dragon dances off, so it's all good. There's the ice! Ice, ice, baby! And we're done here. Sorry, no earthquake for you! Which is good, because I don't want to have to deal with that. Not at all. <sighs> Feels good. Just goes to show you that our queen is better than her queen. Calypso, you did good. You are a damn fun addition to this team, let me tell you that. 
Three health, two everything else. Oh, the stat gains. Oh, I love them. So good. Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present to you this gym badge. Yay! The Feather Badge from Winona. Yes! Take that, childhood trauma! With the Feather Badge, all Pokémon up to level 70, even those received through trades, will obey your every command. You will also be able to use the HM move Fly outside of battle. And this, this is a gift from me. Uh, Aerial Ace, as I recall, yeah? That's, that, 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 that was your move? Not like a free Earthquake? Because I, I, I take Earthquake. Not Aerial Ace, of course. It's speed! No Pokémon should be able to avoid it. Let's uh, just on the Pokénab. Our numbers have been going like hotcakes lately, I gotta tell you that much. Okay, so I know that's not a huge, huge episode, guys, but there was a lot of grinding to start with, and I do apologize about that. I I, I, I don't like doing massive speed-up sections. Oh, who's calling me now? Scott. Well, hiya, Squirm, it's me. Just as I thought you wanted the Fortree Gym. Your strength? Perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a fan in me. I'll be cheering from the sidelines. Keep up the great work. You got a fan in me. You got a fan in me. I'm never around, but I'll call you all the time, and you got a fan in me. Uh -huh. Anyhow, um, like I was saying, I don't like doing like excessive speed up sections, but like there was just a lot of trainers to 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 to, to get from Lily Cove back to here. I wanted to train up Calypso anyway, and having to switch train it the whole way up would have been boring. So I figured I would just get her evolved and get up here, and then just you know be done with it. So, I'm going to leave it off here, and we're going to come back. Oh, wait, actually, no, team, 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 team. Ah! Almost forgot the team. Guys! But yeah, we're, we're going to get our two buddies out of the PC, and then we're going to go on uh, back down route, whatever it was. Um, and we're going to head on down to Mount Pyre, which, by the way, which, which reminds me, on the way back, I, I had my encounter for the route um, outside of the far zone, and we got Persephone the Shuppet. Uh, points, if, 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 if you get the reference, you probably won't, unless, well, I mean, y you might. It's, it's not a very good reference for Greek mythology, but it's a pretty good reference to someone else I know, so, there you go. There's, there, there's a, there's a, an in-joke at work. In any case, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you uh, approve of our addition to, to the team. Personally, I love her. She's, she's amazing so far. I've, I've never used a Milotic before, but I have no complaints. She's utterly amazing so far. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. I keep saying it, but I, you know, it's true. I, I'll, I'll just keep thanking you. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and for now, a Monster Mad out. Bye-bye! Oh, and be sure to go check out our Vito's video, and sadly, Scription's run is over because of Flannery. So be sure to check out his run and see how it all went down because that run, that like that, that that last fight was painful. Like you need to see it at least once because like you you're rooting for the guy because that's that's one of the things I like a lot about Scription is it, it's it's easy to root for the guy and that whole the whole the whole like boss fight or gym battle uh, against Flannery is just is just oh you you. you. You'll be white knuckling, put it that way. So go over and check out that video. Be sure to check out where Avila is at, because he'll be fighting Winona today as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.